Hi, Cappy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. All right, this reading can resonate for you. Um, take your resonates and just leave it doesn't fit. And also remember to flip and switch the rows. Please be mindful that there are fake pages down below in the comments. All right, so please don't get scammed. All right, if the name is not highlighted in gray, it's not me replying back to you. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other platforms, it is also obviously not me. Um, my platform handles are going to be down below in the description box if you're interested in following my personal pages. But anything outside of those two pages are not me. My Both of my pages will have the blue check mark beside it. Just to let you know that that's my page, okay? Anything else is fake as fuck. All right, so let's see, Cappy, what's going on with you guys? What's going on for Capricorn Spirit? Give me clear messages, please. Block any interferences. Please return any spell work. Any dark magic sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. So let's see, Cappy. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Cappies. Let's see. <clears throat> messages for Capricorn. Going off Capricorn spirit. So we have toxic connection. Ew, guys. All right. So their relationship involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other, but trying to maintain the relationship. Oh boy. What else for Capricorn? Twin sister. <laughs> Gemini just had that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting Gemini's reading. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, narcissist copying your style. Ciao. Here we go. Copying someone for their work ideas, how they dress, act, and talk. <laughs> what else? For the clout. Doing it all for the fame, attention, views. Doesn't want to be left alone, being fake. Then we have low vibes, bad energy. Low vibrational person. Energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy. Harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. Bottom of the deck is no limits. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction. Going their own way in divine masculine, period. So whoever's divine masculine this is about is moving the fuck on. Okay, they're still going. They're still pushing forward. I'm getting like nine of wands. This person is almost at the end of completely getting this bitch out of their life just for good. Whoever this is, is trying to be you, Capricorn, because that's what I'm getting. Okay. Ooh, my nose started itching. Somebody's name could be Caprice. Okay, I just heard Caprice, Angela. I just heard something about a bouquet. Some of you guys could be getting yourself flowers or somebody's getting you some damn flowers. Or they get you flowers all the time. Then somebody bringing flowers up to your job or something. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody's name could be Harold or Gerald. Somebody could live in Kali or your name could be Kali. Maybe people can call you Kali. Someone could also be named, somebody's name could be Doreen, Samantha, George, Jefferson, last name, or somebody could be named Jeff. Hmm. Some of y'all could be saying the numbers 515. Okay, with the devil, with the knight of cups. Hmm. There you are, Capricorn. So let's see, what um what's the toxic connection about? What's toxic connection? <laughs> Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy. So, this is a connection here where somebody is just a manipulator. They're emotionally manipulative. This person is a cheater. They're a liar and they're very obsessive. This person is very much so obsessive. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the Knight of Cups in reverse, though. You could be seeing 9-11. That's on the clock right now. Yeah, this could be somebody for some of you that you have a family with, you have children with. Okay, but the Knight of Cups is definitely somebody that's quite obsessive. They're quite manipulative, and they're a cheater. They're a liar. Somebody with a blocked intuition. They are not connected to source at all. Not with them behaving like this. Can be. And they're very insincere, very ingenuine. Okay. Knight of Cups in Reverse is bad news. If somebody hears bad news or someone is delivering some fucking bad news. <laughs> like, yeah, I want to break up. Let me go. What's toxic connection with the Knight of Cups in Reverse? 
Yeah, the page of swords. <laughs> yeah, somebody is like, yeah, I want to be let go of. I don't want to be together with you anymore. I want to be single, blah, blah, blah. Somebody's tired of the fighting. So what somebody is doing here is with the page of swords, they're standing up for themselves. Somebody is fighting back, okay? Being really observant, really analytical. I feel like um, someone is speaking up for themselves. They're not backing down either, okay? This is somebody here that's really analytical too. The page of swords could talk about this person is spying on you guys. Somebody's like watching you because they're planning or they're strategizing to come towards you maybe with this bullshit ass offer with this knight of cups in reverse somebody too your part if they're in this toxic connection or if this is you i feel like this person watches you only they, they're not they're too scared to confront you right now with the knight of cups in reverse because i feel like they have somebody that they're around that's pretty fucking crazy so i don't know if they're trying to protect you or not yeah, but the page of swords, there is some kind of like communication. It's just, there needs to be some sort of like patience or I'm getting like, it's kind of like on and off, on and off. But someone here definitely does play mind games though. Whoever this is in this damn toxic connection. What else? Yeah, this damn Empress in reverse. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Doesn't have to be. It could be a Pisces, like I said, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. Oh, my knee hurt. So <clears throat> this person is just insecure. Somebody is very insecure and unstable. They're experiencing some kind of like instability. I'm getting mentally. Okay, something is really wrong with this person, but they hide it. They keep it a secret. Yeah, this person is very much so in a distorted feminine kind of like energy, whether it's a man or woman, doesn't matter. A man here, the man could have a lot of feminine uh, placements in their chart. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Shrimp card in reverse. Yeah, Leo energy with the Knight of Wands. Like I said, somebody here is a cheater. They're a liar. They're insecure. They'll cheat on you for a little bit of attention. They'll cheat on you for a little bit of change or a fucking compliment. <laughs> like if somebody, if somebody compliments their ass, they'll take it and run with it and end up sleeping with them. They don't give a fuck, this person. Whoever this is, they just all over the place. This person is just very much so a player with the page of swords. I feel like they play mind games here. Very ingenuine kind of like person and sincere. The strength card in reverse is definitely someone here feeling inadequate. For some of you, this is what your person is dealing with. This is your person with this damn loser. This person doesn't know their worth or they, they haven't been knowing their worth or something like that. They've been inconsistent with you due to somebody else projecting their insecurities onto them you know and i feel like we've all been through that before shrimp card in reverse talks about feeling um yeah inadequate or feeling weak or somebody here that just doesn't have control of, over themselves they don't somebody here is a cheater they do that's what i'm getting from this they're a cheater they're a liar and um <clears throat> This person, they, they can't control them, their sexual urges here. They like the attention. They like being a player. Okay, whoever this is. They like playing mind games to get what they want. Just very much so a bum. <laughs> this is what I'm getting from this energy. Man or woman. Doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. What's the page of swords? <laughs> yeah, five of pentacles. Someone could have a Taurus Mercury. <clears throat> yeah, I feel, like I said, somebody's delivering the news that they don't want to be with their ass no more. Somebody's like, you know, it's time for me to go. Okay, it's really time for me to go or it's time for your ass to get the fuck out of my face. One or the other. <laughs> like, for real. Somebody wants stability. They want something more stable. Someone here is noticing how someone is just very disloyal. They're very dishonest. They play these mind games here. Someone likes to make, like I said, someone likes to make someone else feel really insecure. But I feel like this person is noticing it now, how they're just projecting their fucking insecurities onto them. Okay, or this is you that's noticing this is about your raggedy ass partner. <laughs> Anybody that treats you like that, yeah, they raggedy. I don't give a fuck. I know y'all probably like, don't call my man or my woman raggedy. Girl, they raggedy because they shouldn't be treating you like that. Okay. 
fuck. I don't care. Y'all know I don't care. Call it how I see it. But yeah. So someone here is communicating that they're leaving someone out in the cold here. Uh, just period. I feel like whoever's in this Knight of Wands energy probably had the strength to walk away or the courage to walk away from somebody that's just insecure. I feel like somebody is tired of being made out to be a, a bitch made ass person or a hoe or getting treated like that. It's like, no. Yeah, two of wands, enough is enough. Okay. Enough is a fucking enough. Someone could be looking for you too. This person could be looking for you or your person because they done walked away already. What's the Empress in reverse? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, that's you with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be on the cusp of Sagittarius. Somebody realizing that they married or they settled down with a goddamn loser. And that's what they realized. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? Who's this Queen of Pentacles right here? The Ten of Wands in reverse. <laughs> the Hierophant and the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of y'all, this person could be married here. Someone could have a Sagittarius uh, Saturn. This person, their insecurities come out when they don't get anything financial. I feel like somebody is really superficial. When they don't get anything, um, I don't know. This person is just very fucking spoiled. This could be you here too with the uh, uh, Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody is noticing the difference. They're analyzing their... They're gaining knowledge about someone's behavior and looking at yours. They're like, these are two different kind of like people. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, with twin sister. One of them stresses me to fuck out. They're overburdening me. And the other one is they don't have any stress. They're very secure within themselves. Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. I feel like they don't they don't come with any baggage or anything. They're just minding their business, okay, working or whatever the fuck. Yeah. So somebody's like noticing the difference between you and someone else. So I'm getting Somebody is offloading the bullshit. They're offloading it. Bitch, fend for yourself. Work work on yourself. <laughs> yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Devil. Thank you, Spirit. Someone gonna have a Taurus moon. Someone is definitely likes to be spoiled. They like gifts. They like I don't know. They like for somebody to keep helping them out though. And I feel like somebody is tired of doing that. It's like, bitch, what have you been doing with the money that I've been giving your sorry ass? What have you been doing with it? Have you been saving it? Have you been trying to invest in a business? What have you been doing with the fucking money, girl? <laughs> or boy, whatever. You know, so, yeah, I I'm getting... Now it's time. Somebody is offloading. They're delegating tasks now. So this person's going to have to pick up where this person is leaving them to fuck at. That's That's what they're doing. They don't give a fuck if this person needs help or not. Like, I'm so serious. What's, what's twin sister? And they're doing this all because, what, you're going towards somebody new or somebody that you can potentially build something solid with? Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be into divination practices. You could be a tarot reader or you could do something spiritual with the Page of Pentacles. But if not, I feel like... um. Yeah, there's like some sort of like plan or strategy. Some of y'all could be getting good news about your finances. Okay. Some of y'all could be in school. It's like, yeah, somebody's a student. They're learning from you. Whoever this is, you're, you just, this twin sister of yours, this doppelganger, this fucking copycat. What's twin sister with the page principles? The five of cups. <laughs> Someone could have a Scorpio Mars. What's twin sister? The Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, maybe go watch Gemini's reading for sure. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here with the Ace of Cups. So yeah, something is over. 1010 10 is here. You guys will be seeing those numbers. But something is definitely fucking over here. <laughs> okay, like it's over. It's done. The worst of a situation is behind you. There's an offer coming towards you, uh, Capricorn, if you're the real twin <laughs> or if you're the, the real authentic person there, somebody's coming towards you. You guys could be getting new love offers here. There's a new beginning, a new emotionally fulfilling beginning, or this is just you taking care of yourself. You're pampering yourself. You're, you're studying, you're learning. I feel like you're, you're just growing continuously. It's hard to even keep up with you. Really? I got this for Sagittarius and Gemini. 
So somebody here said they look a mess. They're crying, boo hoo hoo. This could be a person that is realizing that they've been betrayed here. They've been bamboozled out of an opportunity with you. So they're sad. They're crying over spilled milk. Oh, this is your goddamn twin sister. <laughs> this is your copycat crying. Looking a fucking mess. Yeah, the world. What's uh this page of pentacles about? This could be this could be a gift coming towards you. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, the will of fortune. Yeah, some of y'all getting ready to reconcile with somebody. Or this is just you meeting new people. This could be you making new friends, okay? Um, maybe just enjoying your life, having a good time here, celebrating your wins and your success and your achievements, and you're continuing to grow, build, and learn. <clears throat> and I feel like you're very teachable. You like learning new things here. Okay, and you're about your money. Of course you are a Capricorn. But yeah. Yeah, there's a surprise coming from the universe. With the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and the goddamn Eight of, <clears throat> eight of Wands. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there's a surprise coming here. I just saw your the King of Pentacles, which is your counterpart. King of Swords, wow. King of Cups. Azam. This is your masculine. Or you could be dealing with... A lot of people are fighting over you. I don't know, Capricorn. But <clears throat> the universe is shifting something to work in your favor. For sure. There's a lot of big changes happening. But yeah. So I'm getting a celebration here. Some of y'all could be graduating from something. But I'm getting an offer. A celebration or you're meeting new people or whatever. This could be a person like in your friend group wanting to be like you. Or they, they're friends with somebody that you know or something like that. It's very weird. Be mindful of meeting new people that are so because i've noticed like meeting new women when they're like so like oh i want to be your friend let's get close da, 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 da. if something don't flow naturally then I, I well i don't know it depends right i can't even say that but i know from my experience when uh, people do that to me it's just like why do you want to be my friend so bad <laughs> like I, that's cool i get it but let's just naturally have a conversation if it's not natural then it's just not natural i'm just i'm not going to be forcing nothing with nobody i don't give a fuck who it is so just be mindful of that. But nonetheless, y'all could be reconciling with somebody. Somebody's coming to give you an offer or this could just be you, like I said, meeting new people. You know, I feel like you're very outgoing. You're really likable. You're a very likable person and you're also very talented. So, you know, what's the five of cups about then? What's crying about and being sad? Okay, the temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. So the Tempest in Reverse talks about um, some discord or you're clashing with somebody. You and this person are not seeing eye to eye or you and somebody or you and someone are not seeing eye to eye here. This could be what you're sad about, Capricorn. You could be sad about this here. Or like I say, whoever's trying to antagonize your person or antagonize you, it's not working and they're sad. They're crying. They're feeling a certain kind of way about it. This, let's see, what's the Tempest in Reverse? This could talk about... Um, Feel like you've lost patience in a situation too yeah the seven of swords yeah somebody is sad because they're planning to antagonize you or to cause a discord between you and somebody it didn't work and now they sitting up here unbalanced imbalanced all upset <laughs> someone yeah somebody has some sort of like plan yeah to cause discord between you and your person and the love is still strong the love is still there so okay someone could have a, a, a aquarius moon yeah, some sort of like plan here that somebody was trying to do or cause or this could be your, per your person here moved too quickly. They thought somebody was what? I don't know what they thought, honey, but they thought wrong and they seeing it right now that somebody's a damn copycat that try to be just like you. <laughs> and this person here thought, I don't know, they really thought... um it's like, damn, who's who? Like, who's trying to be who here? Who's the fakest? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who's really fake here? This person was confused as fuck. What's, um, what's the Ten of Swords? The Seven of... Uh, confusion. 
confusion this person was so fucking confused because everything that you did this person would do i don't know if they're watching you online or y'all know each other i don't fucking know but they watch everything that you do yeah the devil for some of you this was like spell work <laughs> this was spell work here someone could have an aquarius i mean a scorpio venus This was a betrayal. This bitch did this shit on purpose. This damn twin sister of yours. This weird ass bitch. <laughs> and they did that shit on purpose. What a loser. They are such a fucking loser. What's, um, yeah, look at the tower with the nine of pentacles. Somebody is seeing who the real authentic breadwinner is. The one that's independent, self-reliant. They're not needy or clean. You're not chasing after nobody. Like they're really just on their throne, minding their fucking business. And you're getting justice for this too. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. The truth is coming out about all of this bullshit. What's the for the clout? The cherry you could be dealing with a cancer. And then we have four swords, Libra, Jupiter energy. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm getting moving forward. <laughs> with the cherry, this is you moving forward. This is a victory. Definitely victory and success here. You're coming out triumphant, period. And well balanced with the chariot. Somebody here just like having someone on their arm. It's like somebody was just a trophy to somebody. They really didn't want anything, serious because this person is a cheater. They run around, they do whatever the fuck they want. They don't have no control over themselves, none at all whatsoever. They just do whatever. No respect, no morals, no principles, no values, just low. <laughs> What's for the clout with the four of swords and the chariot? Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Someone could have a Pisces uh, Jupiter. So the nine of cups in reverse definitely talks about someone here that's obnoxious and arrogant, very immature, childish. This could be addictions here that somebody has. Could be any kind of addiction. Doesn't have to be a certain or specific one. Only, I guess, you would know or your person. But I feel like this talks about like pessimism. Okay, you could be feeling a bit pessimistic or this is your person or this is this damn losing ass karmic. What's the nine of cups in reverse? Yeah, the, the hangman. So yeah, this is somebody coming to the realization about their own addictions or the, the addictions of this other person. They're addicted to this person or obsessed with you. Somebody is realizing how obsessive somebody is and unhealthy they are and how arrogant they are, how cocky they are and selfish, very self-centered, very greedy. So if this was this person, they're releasing that. They're making certain sacrifices and letting certain things go so that way they can move forward. I feel like somebody, yeah, with the hangman clarifying the nine of cups, somebody's releasing and letting go or just coming to the a sudden realization of whatever this is. Yeah, it's like somebody's awakening here and looking at things from a different perspective. Or some of you guys need to because some of y'all could be feeling quite pessimistic or like, oh, this is never going to happen or this situation is just a lost call. I feel like things are turning around, but there's a need to be optimistic. But... Someone is releasing some sort of addictions they had. I don't know if it was codependency. They were addicted to toxicity. I don't know. Yeah, healing Aquarius energy with the star. So, yeah. What's the four of swords? The queen of cups. Cancer energy. So there's a lot of thinking that you're doing, or this is somebody thinking about you heavy. You got cancer somewhere in your chart, or you just embody this energy. Or this is somebody's mother. They stressed out. Let's see. Who's the who's the Queen of Cups? <laughs> Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's mother, their bitter ass baby mama, or whoever the fuck it is, honey. A hot ass fucking mess is what they are. Period. This could be you as a queen of cups and this queen of swords is talking about you. They're just talking so much shit about you. They're so stressed. <laughs> They're so, and I just feel like you're quiet. You're at peace. You're really balanced. Okay. You're really tranquil and serene. You don't give a fuck about this person. I feel like you already know what's going on. The queen of cups is somebody that's a psychic. So you already can feel it. I feel like you're very empathetic. You know, so you can feel what this person is doing, but they're so bitter and they're so mad. <laughs> 
they lied on you, told a bunch of lies and shit, you know, about you to for clout, to gain this connection that they're never going to get again, bitch. You're never going to get it again. So, okay. This person, they do though, with the four of swords and the queen of cups and the queen of swords in reverse, this person hides it. Very emotionally and mentally manipulative and abusive. For some of you, this person needs some hospitalization or this is what's going to happen today, yes. It is. With all this right here, this nine of cups in reverse, the hangman, this person could be getting sent away to a goddamn asylum. <laughs> they could be getting sent away to a, a ward, a site like that, because they have a problem. They do. It's, it's a mental illness. I'm not even trying to be funny. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. You know? I'm being dead ass, but they just hide it, though. They just hide it and they try to cover it up with this fucking Queen of Cups persona. Like they're so caring and loyal and compassionate. This person needs to fucking be sat the fuck down somewhere. Like for real. <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, what's low vibes? Somebody here always has something to say about you, honey. They just always talking about you, you, you. It's like, girl. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. Wow, to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so this is you, Capricorn, like I felt anyway. And somebody here is just talking about you, lying and shit. Maliciously talking shit like they, they just drug your name through the fucking mud. <laughs> girl, bye. What a pathetic ass whore. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. What else for low vibes with the King of Cups? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, Six of Swords. Someone could have a um Aquarius Mercury. Yeah, and the world wanted to come out. <laughs> so, yeah, this shit is over. It's over. It's over. I'm leaving. I'm gone. What's that song? Now and Forever by Drake. <laughs> yeah, somebody is done. No more, no more, no more. <laughs> That's song in my head now. So, so yeah, the world. Some of y'all could be traveling. You're moving. Spirit is guiding you or your person away from this drama. And they're just this person is just dragging your name through the mud, honey. They mad. Oh well, bitch. Na 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 boo boo. <laughs> That's what you get. Blah blah blah. Wah wah wah. Cry me a river, bitch. So this person is a loser. <laughs> they are. What's and it's, it's all because of this fucking connection, bro. Somebody's in love with you and they're, it's not going nowhere. It's never going to be going anywhere, honey. Because first of all, y'all could definitely be counterparts. And you probably are. Nine times out of ten for some of you. Not everybody. But yeah. Some of y'all are definitely traveling. You're moving. Or this person is going moving closer to you. Or they're being guided towards your ass. One or the other. But I feel like this person is very... They're mature. I just feel like just like anybody else. They've gotten themselves caught up in drama before or in a connection where it's unhealthy for them, but they had to learn who they were before they could actually see that the connection was toxic. That's everybody. So I feel like maybe you met this person at that phase in their life. That's normal. I feel like there needs to just be a conversation. You know? What's this? Um, I don't want to clarify. What's the King of Cups? Yep, the Judgment. Yeah. So they're awakening. Yep, the Ace of Swords. This is an awakening. Definitely somebody here that wants you to forgive them. They want your forgiveness here. Some type of karmic lesson, a major lesson that this person has learned. And they're moving away, period. A cycle has closed out. A goal has been achieved. Something has been completed. So now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> it's time to celebrate because uh, somebody is being guided here with the Six of Swords. Let's see. This could be a breakthrough in communication. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. That's what I was trying to see. Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, something is getting ready to be resurrected, and all these heartbroken assholes in the background, they're getting ready to deal with their karma. Whatever. <clears throat> people from your end and people from this person. Whoever's been trying to keep y'all two apart. If this is your counterpart, if this is your twin, you got karmics too. <laughs> okay, if they still had a karmic in their life, you had one somewhere, or you had... Um, well, I can't say that for everybody. That's, everybody's different, but I know for me it was like that. There's some sort of like karmic energy that's still there, whether it's actual person or something within you that's just karmic that needed to be healed. But it's it's working out, guys. <clears throat> it's working out. Let's see. Capricorn. What's going on for Cappy? All 
All right, so we have Smoky Quartz. Provides a cloak of inv invisibility, allowing you to go unnoticed and removing vulnerability. Yeah. So you might need the Crystal Smoky Quartz. That is a really good crystal. When shit hits the fan, this person will be ghost. Yeah, they, they do that shit all the fucking time. This damn karmic, whatever. Yeah, judging your family, background, and culture. <laughs> Root work. Seek someone to help you with a protection spell. Okay, you might need that here. Some spiritual warfare going on, like I was getting anyway. Unexplained freak accident. Mm. They are turning others against you. So this person is just sending you negative vibes. They just really, because they're they targeting you here. You could feel it too. You could feel it. I feel like you're really in meditation though. You're really um trying to stay balanced. You're unbothered. I feel like you just, you don't care. And it's not bothering you. So whatever they're sending you is going right back. If they can't bother you, then where do they think it's going to bounce back off of? It's not going to... If it's not affecting you, it's going to be sent back to the fucking sender, bitch. Where it came from. Where it belongs. Causing you to miss out or lose an opportunity. <laughs> Venus retrograde. Dealing with insecurities, appearance, body image, worthiness, relationships, and sexuality. It's this bitch. It's Empress in reverse. They're dealing with that. I feel like you're fine. <laughs> they can't stand to see you shine. Trickster spirit, sudden loss of memory, things end up missing. So yeah, that energy has been heavy in the collective for a few days. Causing drama and fights in your love connections and friendships. Then we have spirit team, ancestors, angels, spirit guides, gods and goddesses got your back, period. Altering your values and morals or making life decisions and a feminine hater. So for some of you, this is a woman hating on your ass, a weird asshole. Or if if it's just a feminine, because feminine energy is just energy, so it could be a man. But I see a hoe here being a hater. So, anyways, your whole spirit team is behind all this. I don't know what they thought. <laughs> I really, I don't know what people be thinking. What else for Capricorn spirit? So it says your head may be in the clouds right now and perhaps stuck in fantasy or illusion. Find balance between the 5D and the 3D and ensure that you are integrating the two equally. Come back down to earth. That could be what this Queen of Swords is too in reverse. Somebody that's a bit like scatterbrained or somebody's trying to cause you to be unforgiving or bitter. That's how they want you to feel towards your person before they can get to you and actually make something work with the connection they want you to feel like that because they're bitter showing your vulnerability is a strength not a weakness be expressive with your emotions and don't be afraid to put your heart on the line if someone can't return the same to you that's a reflection of their own fear at least you can say you did your best yeah you know that's what that strength is in reverse too with the knight of wands somebody is leaving a situation because they're having trouble being vulnerable they can't they're not they can't be themselves Somebody is naturally just a sensitive person with the King of Cups. You are too. You're a very loving and caring person. So is your person. <clears throat> so they, they hate it there. They don't like their, their, their vulnerability over there gets taken for weakness, which is traumatizing. You know, it makes it hard for you to even want to date anybody else. <clears throat> so it says, clean your space mentally, physically, and inside your place of dwelling. This is a great time for a deep clean and hitting the reset button. Organizing and tidying up will create more clarity, growth, and well-being. Okay, bottom of the deck, it says, this is a process of deep transformation on a cellular level. You are shedding many layers of baggage that have been accumulating from past lives in this present incarnation. You will be evolving into a completely new version of yourself very soon. Okay, so a big change, a big transformation. That's what I was getting anyways. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get some of these here. Let's get an Oracle card for um, Kathy. Please fit it. Let's see. So we have number 54, the crossing initiation. Number 31, in the hand, the universe is your partner, period. Let's see. 54, let's see what it says. 
So it says rite of passage and initiation. You have come to stand on one side of the river. The opposite bank leads into the darkness of the eternal cave where the old dies and then is born again. This is a place where time is forgotten and the seasons cease their dance and stand still as if in a temporary repose. You must cross the river now, honoring and respecting this transition, for it is time to say goodbye to your old ways of navigating your world. Don't be afraid. You've come to the edge of the river because you're ready. You're ready to let go of what doesn't serve you and all the ways in which you've kept yourself from truly living. Intimacy requires vulnerability, yes, and truth. Can you strip away the mask and the barriers of false strength to discover what you're really made of? <clears throat> step into the boat awaiting step into the boat waiting for you let it carry you into the cave where the shadows are waiting to be illuminated so you can be born again into the world without denial or artifice making the crossing is a making the crossing is a beautiful powerful act of the highest love yes yeah, so that's this is nice okay it's really really freaking nice all right capricorn you're definitely growing and glowing and you're getting into more of your heart space here your person is too i feel like if you guys are counterparts when your person transforms or levels up you do too <clears throat> you do too you go through a change as well you know and it maybe shows up in a different form for you because y'all share the same probably wounds and things like that but they need to be healed differently because y'all are two different people y'all might have went through the same things but under different dynamics and circumstances and things like that so you know this was your reading though, guys. I hope this resonated for you. Hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if it resonates. Like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.